Hey, T2 Posse. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, sorry I haven't been online for the last week, but um, I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Hope everybody enjoyed their July 4th weekend. Um, we did a lot of barbecuing, a lot of family time, and uh, we did the Disney Plus uh, watching of Hamilton. I've never seen Hamilton. Uh, a couple of my kids have, but I haven't. And uh, wow, I was blown away. I mean, that thing lived up to and uh, surpassed the hype uh, around the play. Um, it was excellent. And then with you know the extra cinematographer, cinematographical, I think I got that right, um, treatment with multiple cameras and stuff, it was mind blowing. Um, excellent and uh you know using the vehicle of, of hip-hop made it really relatable so uh it was just uh, it was genius so uh that's how we we spent you know part of our weekend so anyway i hope everyone had a, a great a great time in this weekend so for my vitals for today um i woke up this morning my waking blood sugar level was 127 so once again firmly in the green um, again, my doctor wants me to keep it, you know, my waking blood sugar level between uh, 80 and 130. Uh, but, uh, you know, what's uh, the, the one touch uh, blood tester that I use uh, defines green as 80 to 140. So I'm always in that green range, have been for like the last couple of weeks, and, and that's a good thing. So I'm happy about that and my weight today is 358 so you know creeping down inching down and uh, that's a, that's a good thing just got back from a nice brisk walk with Lola so we won't have a Lola camp today so as I mentioned um, I wasn't on for the last uh, week or so yeah last week and it was mostly out of frustration um, why because the e-bike I was expecting on Monday um, didn't arrive on Monday didn't arrive at all uh, and uh, I was I was quite frustrated so there's a long story behind that but um, yeah so uh, during the week I tried to do a couple of video sessions but I could see that my frustration with not having received my bike in a timely manner as a matter of fact not at all was uh, my frustration and anger was coming through in the, in the video, so I just felt like I couldn't post that because um, I was just, I was ticked off. Um, and I went on a rant against uh, UPS and, you know, I'll just leave it at that. So, uh, you know, I ordered it through uh, Amazon uh, because a lot of the, uh, a lot of, you know, bike manufacturers now are using a, uh, direct-to-consumer model through uh, e-commerce sites like Amazon or, or other sites or directly from their website and um, yeah I was I think I was lucky I ordered it through Amazon because they'll stand behind you know delivery of the product and um, you know any shipping issues that you have they take responsibility for it so they're the the honest broker between you and the and the vendor so that's the upside to taking that approach. The downside to doing direct-to-consumer is sometimes, you know, you may have issues that are hard to resolve. Like my neighbor and his new e-bike uh, had an electrical, electrical connection, um, couldn't figure it out, had to call customer support, and they quickly figured it out for him. So just be aware if you take that route, especially with e-bikes, you know, you may have a, a challenge like that. Back to my sad story. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I was tracking my package through through Amazon, and uh, yeah, it said that uh, it, the package had shipped. It showed me the route that it took because it was coming in from Canada, dropped into the states, came across some of the southern states, and then I got a notification uh, that it was the 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 package was in Oakland. Um, so right, I was excited. It means any day now I should be getting my my bike, and then it kind of fell off the radar. Um, the day that was due to arrive, which was last week, Monday, um, I get a notification from Amazon. Oh, we're sorry, but your package seems to be lost. 
I'm like, what? It was, it's an Elkland. What are you talking about? And uh, anyway, uh, uh, they said it should be here Tuesday or Wednesday. So I patiently waited. Wednesday, I checked the status of my order again. And uh, turns out that it was still missing. So they offered me the option of a refund or reorder the, the product. Well, as luck would have it, the vendor didn't have the product anymore. And I was so frustrated. Um, I just said, give me a refund. And within 24 hours, they refunded me my money, which good. I was happy. I was happy about that. But um, if you're having packages delivered to you, um, be careful, especially if it's being delivered by UPS, because uh, I have a friend who has a friend who works at UPS and they said because of Corona uh, 19, I, the Oakland hub is having a lot of issues with delivering packages in a timely manner and a lot of packages are coming up missing. Um, so just be aware, a better option if you can, uh, you know, if, if it's available to you is to have it shipped via FedEx. Um, you, uh, USPS won't handle a package that big, um, but I trust USPS before UPS as an option for smaller packages, but big packages, um, FedEx is the way to go. Um, UPS is just, they're just terrible right now and they've never been all that great to begin with. So anyway, hope my anger, frustration and negativity didn't come across that time. So what did I do? Once I got my refund and it was registered on my credit card, um, I continued doing some more research and I went to my, my B option. Um, and I ended up ordering another bike, but not from DJ bikes, as I mentioned, their inventory is depleted. So, you know, I mean, I, I ordered a beautiful bike in a uh, mountain bike style, which is what I want. I'm not a big fat tire bike guy and, um, you know, they're out. So, uh, I ended up, uh, lucking out and finding a vendor who I really had my eye on their products. Um, but they, they're all right now, most of the vendors are, are out of inventory and uh, their next, next time you can get inventory is like um, delivered is in the month of August and I wanna ride now. So um, I ended up selecting a bike from a company called Aventon and it's their level uh, uh, e-bike. And um, it's, 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 it's a great buy. I'm, I'm, you know, happy about my understanding of it. Um, happy with the company. They're a very well-known company. They also do, you know, uh, regular pusher bikes, racing bikes and things like that. But uh, they have a very reliable line of e-bikes. So I'm excited to get the product and see uh, what that, you know, what it looks like. But uh, the other thing I did was I opted for a commuter bike. Um, and a commuter bike is, you know, not a mountain bike style, I'm not designed to do mountain biking, but, you know, again, mountain bike for me is a, is a preference. They're more ruggedly built, but commuter bikes are, are ruggedly built as well. And then if I think about the type of, you know, I want to do pavement riding and trail riding. And if I think about the type of trail riding that I do, it's gravel or what they call, you know, railroad trails. Um, but it's not this, you know, downhill aggressive mountain biking and stuff. And a commuter bike will do that with for you if you select the right one. And uh, Aventon, um, the level is uh, is that type of bike where I can do mixed use and all around use with it. So um, I'm excited about that. And it's a rugged build, a lot of quality products on it. So in terms of my e-bike uh, aspirations, I'm uh, a week behind schedule. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that bike this week. I got the uh, order confirmation early this morning um, and uh, they, uh, on their website, they commit to sending it out within two days, shipping it within two days. So my expectation is I should be receiving that, uh, you know, today or tomorrow. And then my expectation is that by the weekend I should have the, the new bike. So on fitness, uh, you know, doing a lot of walking uh, of lowland um my uh my distance is, is is increasing i mean um i'm able to cover some ground that i was, wasn't able to do a few weeks ago and i 
and get to the house and I feel good. I'm energized, not exhausted. So that's, uh, that's good news and it's exciting. Um, and I want to, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to, to get more riding in. I've been sort of tooling with my uh, old bike, but it's, it's just really hard to ride. You know, I just, I get tuckered out pretty quickly. I'm looking forward to that e-bike. But um, I also want to add in more like hiking, but my knees are just this bone on bone rubbing thing. It's just walking the dog today it was like flaring up and I had to shorten my walk um, because of just the, the pain. So instead of doing, you know, like an extended loop, I was only able to do our, uh, you know, do a mile and a half loop. I had to cut our normal two mile loop short. Um, but, you know, I've gone as far as three miles um, walking, walking the dog uh, through the neighborhood and um, yeah, not today. So, you know, getting this bike will help, um, you know, minimize that. I mean, right now, if I got on a bike, I wouldn't feel hardly any pain in my knees, uh, but walking, oh my God. Thanks for, for tuning in. Um, you know, life is good and uh, as always, stay focused, be positive, move forward. See you next time.